Hey, I'm Clint Brewer. I'm a photographer here in LA and I'm on Hollywood Raw talking about how I got the exclusive pictures of Harry Styles and Olivia Wilde first pictures of their new relationship. Hey guys, welcome to the Hollywood Raw YouTube page. Make sure you drop a comment, like, subscribe, do all the fun things. Follow. Follow everything. We're here to entertain you guys. What are you waiting for? Hurry up. Let's go. Enjoy. Clint, uh, thank you for coming on the podcast. I am a, f you know, I think you do a great job. I see so many photos with your name attached to it. It's, uh, I mean, you're breaking stories. You're, you, you know, you're a photographer that's worked all around the world. You've been doing this for, you know, over two decades. So I'm excited for you to come on the podcast. How do you like to be, you know, when somebody asks you, what do you do? Are you a photographer? Are you a paparazzi? Are you a journalist? What do you say you are? Well, I mean, I am a trained photographer. I went to college to do photography and did like my kind of apprentice at a local newspaper for years back in uh, back in England. So I am a photographer, but the work I do is paparazzi style photography. So, I mean, I don't think it's a bad word. People call us paps, paparazzi, photographers. Doesn't, doesn't really bother me that much. So you're not offended by the word paparazzi. Someone says, hey, Paps, you're not like, hey, I'm a journalist. It just, it is what it is. It really depends how they say it, <laughs> right? Yeah, it makes sense. If they're like, oh, there's a group of Paps or, oh, you're a Paps, it's fine. But if it's in a different... If they say, if you're a fucking paparazzi, then you're like, oh, okay, no, like, I get well, it. <laughs> so, sometimes, I'm, yeah, maybe, but yeah. no, you know, photographer, you know. Dude, you are, honestly though, you are one of the best photographers out there. It's like if if for people that are listening right now and have never seen Clint's name, you will now continuously see it because he gets some of the the best shots. And I highly suggest you checking out his Instagram, Clint Brewer Photography, because uh, and you'll start to associate some of the biggest photos in the world with the guy who's actually taking them. But how did how did you get into this industry, Clint? Well, again, I, I went to college and um, I got a job as like a junior photographer, at a local newspaper back in England. And I was there for about four years. And the training was like to do all kinds of stuff like sport, news stuff, commercial stuff, everything. Got a bit boring and then found myself at a company called Big Pictures, mm -hmm. which is what used to be like a pretty big celebrity photo agency back in England. And then I remember the first day I was there, they were like, you know, all you have to do is not chop people's feet off and their heads. And I'm like, that doesn't sound that difficult. <laughs> but you'd be surprised. Like <laughs> there's people out there that do that and uh, started doing that and then they, started sending me on all these like big jobs all around the world. So I was like a young guy, like I was like 18 or 19, maybe 20, I can't remember. And um, yeah, and I was in my twenties cause yeah, it was about that. I just went on all these like amazing places. I was always on a plane going somewhere different. I'd so spend, what like, was some time in was... the Caribbean and what was that first big shot that they sent you to get? Like, who was the celebrity that was involved when you were sent to the Caribbean and they're like, we need you to get so-and-so? Who was it? Well, it was never actually like, oh, you, you were going to get someone. It was just like you were there for the season and uh, you'd see who would show up at certain hotels. You know, like Simon Cowell's always there. Which, but back then, some of the names are just not even relevant anymore, but back then they were. So like every day it, it is different and the celebrity like status changes. So everyone's always asking like, oh, what's the biggest shot you've done? Like, and I'm like, well, it kind of changes mm -hmm. because depending on the celebrity, like, who's the biggest celebrity you've shot? Well, one year it can be, you know, the Kardashians, the next year it can be someone completely different. It kind of changes around. Adam, do you agree with that? Since you're yeah, I mean, there in the it, field it, and doing the same it, similar yeah, stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy because at one point when I first started, the Jersey Shore stars were the biggest stars in the world. Like they were yeah. the hottest thing to get. And now it's like, 
you know, they could be around the corner for me. I'm like, eh, I'm good. You know, like I don't, I'm, it's not worth the energy. It's not worth the edit. That's how bad it's not even worth the edit. Um, you know, I used to go, for, I could have went for, I, I made the mistake when Lady Gaga first came out. I had like shot times to get her and I passed on it. I just didn't care. I didn't think she was going to last that long. And now she's the biggest star in the world. You know, one of them. So I, I made that mistake. Yeah, but shoot everything. You, that's, that's what I got told. Yeah. Don't look, it, don't look at a celebrity in a way that, they, you know, oh, I'm, I'm better than that. Because today they're, they're nothing. Tomorrow they could be the biggest news and you're like, oh, you know, I took pictures of them yesterday doing something which meant nothing yesterday. But today that's the shot everyone's trying to get. So when you work, do you have like an area you work in? Do you like well, just, I also have a you... partner as well? Okay. So it's not just me. Okay. Uh, so I, 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 I have a partner who is anonymous. Doesn't oh. put his name. He he just has a aim as a, as his byline. So he, but we moved here together. We had a business together once once before. Called Wait, what's Pips. his byline? I want to know if I've ever seen his byline. It's at the end of mine. So it would be Clint Breath Photography slash A I M. A I M. Okay, yeah, so I've seen it. I've seen it. And but, capital okay. letters. Well, this is the thing. Like I'm like you get no recognition. He's like, I don't care. I'm like, so everyone thinks it's always me, which is not like we work as a team. So some of the stuff you see is uh, you can't do that stuff. I on didn't your own. know that. Look at us learning something yeah. new. Okay. So okay. as a team, how do you guys decide what you're going to work on, who you're going to work on? Well, we always try and follow the news. So whatever's relevant for that day, that week, that month, that's kind of like our target. Then, you know, we have a big network of tippers and information coming in and social media. You'd be surprised at how many people actually DM us stuff that's going on. Okay, I saw this person doing this. I'm like, whoa, maybe we should take a look at that. Now, is that coming through Instagram? Yeah. That, that's amazing how it's, like, it is. It's amazing, that, yeah. that was a big that's a big part of any big news outlet is like a tip line. And so it's really interesting to be able to use Instagram because you weren't obviously social media wasn't around 10, 15 years ago. And so you no. wouldn't get those kind of tips. So it's cool. Well, that you now would. People are following you and going, oh, I'm going to just send them a tip. I may not know them, but I'm going to send them a tip where celebrities are. It would just take like twice as long. It would take maybe a season, a month, six months to have someone to trust you. And they'll be like, yeah, you know, I'll let you know what's going on. And, you know, well, people have businesses and they need promotion. Yeah. yeah. So and the people that are tipping you off are, has it ever come from the celebrity themselves? Yeah. Yeah. And then the other yeah. people are what? Publicists, baby people who are fans of you and your work or who are the other people? brands as well because you gotta think every time you see like a celebrity picture and it everyone's making money from that picture even sure. if directly like i haven't done it intentionally all the brands sunglasses down to the celebrity might do makeup as some celebrities do all the clothes everything the car they're driving everyone's everyone's profiting somehow off of that i mean it makes yeah. sense i mean and we try to sometimes incorporate them in, in, into it to how, how often do you do feel like it comes from a celeb versus a stylist or a clothing brand or uh, not so, not not very often not uh, very some often. of the best some of the best ones is just a random person but it could be the person like I, 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 we did one story. I'm not going to say who it was because it's not really that that big. But the person we were photographing, we got a tip on that they were going to be at this place. It didn't go well. It went like wrong. Like a bus drove into the picture, and it just like it just didn't get anything. Yeah. So I was just messaging the person back, like, "Hey, it didn't go well, but we're at the hotel." Two minutes later, the person like walks out and does this like parade like near where we were. Okay. <laughs> I was like, right, okay, fair enough. Like, you know, I'm not gonna judge. That's if everyone could do that, it would make, make your job easier. a lot easier, right? But not as fun. <laughs> what was the biggest photo that you missed? What was that photo that, like you said, a bus drove in front of, or it came out blurry or something, and you you were like, God. Damn it, that would have been I, I such a big photo for me. 
I, don't, I haven't missed anything, but I've come close. I came close. It was there last year. I think it was. You remember the um, the first pictures of uh, Kim Kardashian and, and Pete in Palm yeah. Springs where they were holding hands. So like we had some information, and uh, so we went out there to to try and find them, and uh, we saw the security at a mall. They were going in to get lunch. We're like, are they in the car? Are they not in the car? We had no idea. Like, okay, they're just going to sit in the car and go home. And I, I had to, to, we had to get gas and stuff because we were like out of town, so we were all running low. And I'm, I'm, char- oh, well, I, got, I drive an electric car, so I was charging my car up. And I was speaking to my friend. I was like, you know what? I've got this funny feeling that I should come back. So I come back to where we were. I park up, and the car doors open. And I raise my camera. If anyone knows like a camera, like there's like buttons on the side to turn off the mm-hmm. buttons. For some reason that had gone off. So I'm holding my camera like this and nothing's working. And I, they're, they're getting out of the car. And the guy that I work with, he's like, he's, he was doing video and he can't, he, he knows that it's not going well because he can't hear my shutter going off. So I'm like, take the battery out, put the battery back in. And I'm now like using a different button. It became close. <laughs> but there was pictures in that set that we just watched. Yeah. So, yeah. Adam, Adam, I don't think I've ever asked you. Have you ever missed a big shot that it, something just got fucked up? Yeah, I mean, I've had sometimes just, uh, you know, I do video, Clint. So there's uh, yeah. sometimes the audio just got messed up on a huge video and then people complain about the video. And you're able to kind of use the audio a little bit. However, it didn't come as good as possible. But then there's always times like my whole life now, I think I'm programmed where every second counts because, you know, with this job, with this profession, you're a split second, you're a split second from being a hero and a zero. So literally, oh, yeah. you know, if something's going on, you have to get there immediately because you can't take your time because it's you're working on someone else's schedule. So yeah, every second does count. So I've missed, you know, a bunch of things. Also, like the other day, I mean, this is not a big name by any means, but I was outside a place. I knew Marla Waynes was inside and I was going to wait for him to come out. But I was like, eh, I'm just going to, you know what? I don't think he's going to come out anytime soon. As soon as I left, he came out. And I was like, oh, you know, if I just would have waited 20 more seconds, I would have caught the guy. So it's just something, you know, there is, unfortunately, there's just sometimes a little bit of luck that happens with the job. Sometimes the right person walks right in front of you and it's a great payday, you know, and that's happened to me multiple times where I get the right call at the right time or I'm the first phone call. I'm the first person to see something on Twitter or someone just walks across my, you know, walks in front of me. Actually, you want to hear a big shot? I was outside. This was during when we thought that Rachel Kirkconnell, the girl that was on Bachelor in Paradise, that, oh, no, she was on The Bachelor. She had the racist, you know, kind of stuff that her racist past kind of came up. She was dating the guy Matt, uh, I guess Matt, I think that's the guy's name. Uh, whatever. Anyway, we're, we thought she was in New York and we thought she was inside this building and there's a few paparazzi waiting outside. And then all of a sudden, for some reason, she posted that she was in New Orleans. So <laughs> all the paparazzi all saw it together and they left. As soon as the car is left, I was just somehow on a phone call, so I didn't leave right away. She came out of the building, and I got the shot. I got exclusively. It was one of my biggest shots of last year. So it's just, you know, there is a lot of luck involved, which, you know, you just got to put yourself in the right place. You have to make your own luck, though. You have to make your own luck. Exactly. You know, if you're you're sitting on the couch, it's not going to happen. I I, I I like that. Maybe. I like that she did that. That was a smooth little move. I'm going to post that I'm somewhere else on social media to distract all the camera guys, and next thing you know, she walks out. That happens yeah. a lot. Does it really? Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, mo- most of them will be like, oh, how did you know where I was? You know, and I don't really, I try not to get seen, so this doesn't really happen to me that much. I'm like, oh, you know, we got a tip. When re- really, like, I just saw it on their Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I got a tip off your Instagram. I got a tip, but the tip was you. <laughs> Thanks. That's so funny. I, I I had a funny one with video with uh, Jamie Fox. Do you remember when he was dating, uh, or he got shot that time with Katie Holmes on the beach? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Like, the next the next day, I was like, oh god, that would have been great to get. And um, I was in Malibu, and I see him. So I see him park his car, and he like walks off to do his thing. I was like, okay, I'm gonna do some video. And, uh, you know, you know, it's like with video questions, you have something in your mind, but you don't know how it's going to come out. 
you have no idea. Sure. It's like they could give, or you know, if a client wants an actual question asked, they'll give you like a blurb, and you're like, yeah, that's not going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. So anyway, he's like walking towards me. I get my camera going, and so I'm record this time. And I just start to ask this question, and a big truck just goes past me like this. And I was like, oh, shit. As it goes past, he's like, he's like in front of me. And I just put the camera down. I'm like, I'm really sorry, dude. I kind of messed that up. And he just put his hand on my shoulder. He's like, don't worry about it, dude. Just do it again. <laughs> I'm like, seriously? He's like, yeah, just do it again. I said, yeah. I asked him the questions and, you know, he didn't really ans answer the question, you know, about the relationship, but kind of went around it. And I was like, wow, what a cool guy. I yeah. love that story. Yeah, I right. love that. It was just so, moment. I was just like, I was embarrassed. Yeah. And yeah, but, I think you could tell I was embarrassed too. <laughs> in a moment though, where like the world was literally talking about him and he could have easily just been a dickhead and said, Oh, no, 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 no. That, that guy is that's so cool. He's so nice. He's, yeah. That's he's a cool really story. nice, really cool guy. Like, he could have just said nothing. I just I was like, oh, you missed it. Tough Do luck, you... buddy. <laughs> so how is it like, you know, in Malibu, how is it like working the beaches there? Do you just kind of walk the beaches and hope you run into something? And you know, what's, what's the vibe like? Yeah, I mean... Malibu is a funny place because it's all, you know, like residential houses. There's no hotel on the beach. So, yeah, you can, you know, walk up and down or sometimes the best thing to do is just to just to go for a walk and just relax and not actually think about running in. If, yeah, if you have no like target, sometimes the, you see the best things when you're just out doing your everyday stay thing. Where, where, where in LA is, do you feel like the best spot that you have consistently got great photos over the year? Is it Malibu? Is it, I, I don't know, down by Craig's? Is it, you know, where, where do you feel like you've got the best money shots over the, t over time? Yeah, probably like beaches, maybe a bit further north. Like I, I kind of go all over the place. I don't really have like an area. Like some guys just work like Beverly Hills. Some guys just work Malibu. Some guys just, you know, work certain areas. I'm kind of all over the place. So it's hard to pinpoint because I'm just following like the stories. So wherever the stories are, that's kind of where I where I'll go to, even if I don't really want to be in that area. Because there's some areas I just don't want don't want to be in. I fucking hate Malibu. I love Malibu. I hate getting in and out of Malibu. Let me make that clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's such a beautiful location but like if you don't live there it's such a pain in the ass to get to and it's like literally pch this you know two lanes it's awful to get in now there but god it's beautiful in that location yeah yeah it's nice and they're just making it better you know especially after the fires and stuff yeah they kind of put a bit more money into that so how are you you know when you work the beaches do they get pissed off because you're legally allowed to be there it's a public beach yeah, so yeah. do you try to make sure you're not seen or do you show face oh, and let them see you that, like if i get spotted it's like ruins the harm i just want to throw my camera in the ocean yeah <laughs> i'm like it's just pointless we'll just delete everything you win is it because it, it'll change the whole dynamic they won't be themselves it, like it'll change the whole photo set yeah i mean like I'm not out there to get like a bad picture of anyone. I, I want it to look good. I want them to look good because it, it, you know, helps my sales. Some things, you know, are going to look bad, but that's just the way it is. But I don't want to get seen. Yeah. We try it at all costs. We'll leave. Do you, do you ever get a shot of a celeb? And they love it, and they've reached out to you personally, other on Instagram or social One, media, yeah. to say they yep. love the photo that you got of them. Yeah, there was. Um, again, I'm not going to say who it is because I don't want to put these people on blast. But there was a a, a shot we got was a, a new couple, and it was kind of like this pictures on, on the beach, but it wasn't a sunny day. It was like misty, kind of romantic, and it was like they were kissing and cuddling, and one of their people got in contact with us and was like we want to buy this picture from you i'm like okay but we we're not going to use it for anything apart from a joke i'm like okay i'm listening <laughs> so what they did they just 
they printed it in frames and put it all over this guy's office. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Hey, you do what you want. Yeah. So like you didn't good. actually have to reach out to me. I appreciate it. <laughs> How was I going to know it's in the office? No, they wanted the high res. They wanted to make sure uh, it looked good. They like, want to make sure they, it looked good. They sent it to I, printers. They got it. Yeah, they, I think they spent quite a bit of money on this. I'm joke. going through your Instagram. I want to see who was photographed in. <laughs> who was photographed and, on a and misty the funny beach. Thing is, it, it kept going on for like a while. Like it got to be like a bit of a joke with them. But we've never, with these, this, this couple, we've never spoken to them. They no. never, no, they, they know that we take pictures of them every now and again. And uh, I am so interested. They always look great. Yeah. <laughs> you I, can I got, I got to find, I got to find the misty beach photos somewhere. Oh, you know what? You're not going to find it on mine because it's Damn not on mine. <laughs> <laughs> My partner actually took, took that picture. But... All right. I'm going to AIM's Instagram page. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure if it has it on there. He's he's not up on the social media as much as I am. That's so cool. Yeah, that was that was kind of funny. Well, you know what? You're always like, you know, you're getting good shots on the beach. Let's let's say like, uh, at, what's that guy's name? The the guy from the OC, Rachel Layton Meester. They're always surfing. You know, in 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 Malibu, I always see photos of them surfing. Do those people yeah. ever want, like, hey, can I get that shot of me? Like, do celebrities ever come up to me? Hey, can you text me that photo? Or can you send me that photo? Because that's a really cool photo of me surfing or on the beach holding hands. Like, it's just nice. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. But, I mean, it doesn't really happen to me like that because I just, I don't want to engage. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't want to interrupt anyone's day or, like, you know, make them go home or anything like that. I just want to, you know, get my shots, make sure they're as best as they can and just, let them get on with whatever they were doing. What, yeah. What's your re- working relationship with the Kardashians? Are they cool to you when they see you out? I've got to imagine you have so many photos of all of them over the years that they have to know who you are by this point. Yeah, I think are they I, I, are I they think, chill? I think they do. Yeah. I, oh no, they're they're amazing. They're they're yeah they're amazing. They're you know you they've got a job to do as well, especially when they're filming. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they're looking their best. They're all, as they call it, glammed up and dressed well. And Yeah, they're just nice. They're just nice people. What about Scott Disick? Yeah, I, I don't really photograph Scott that much. He, yeah, he's not. He's, he's all of them. They're all cool. They're all great. Yeah, I always say the yeah, same thing. Yeah, they're all great. Like, it's funny because... We don't see some of them like... Um, What's his name? The, the the brother. See, I've even forgotten his name. We don't see him so much. Which brother? A uh, Rob. Kim's brother. Yeah, oh, Rob. 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 Yeah. Yeah, like we never see Rob, but if you do, same thing. Nicest guy. But they, yeah, I honestly think they've been brought up very well, like polite. So why why do you think business. they get such a bad rap? They're just hateable. Anyone with a lot of money and looks good and you know consistently is doing well, people are gonna hate you. Yeah, you just people got, want a reason to hate them. Just don't That's to it. You I agree. With it. You, you know, broke one of the biggest. Uh, you all, broke... their people, all their people that hate it, they're just annoyed that they haven't gone and done it or done something like that or are trying. And it's not you hear out. that, Bethany Frankel? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to keep trying. Don't give up. It happens to anyone, right? You yep. broke one of the biggest stories, in my opinion, because I feel like your photo just kind of, um, kind of, kind of solidified this story. The Harry Styles and Olivia Wilde were dating. I think you were the I was one. I wonder f- when you were going to mention that. <laughs> yeah, you were the first one to get that photo. Am I right? Just uh, yeah, that was a huge it surprised shot. Surprised us too. Yeah, and that was we so, were as shocked as everyone else was. The photo was them holding hands. They were at a wedding. I think it was his manager. Were they holding hands? Were they affectionate? What was that? What was actually going on in the photos? Yeah. So this is how the story goes, right? So we did have some kind of like whispers that she was dating someone. But this, what we got told was that she was dating another female. Mm. We were like, okay, that doesn't really make sense. Well, okay, whatever. So. We were working and my, my partner spotted her. It's like, she's with another woman. And I'm like, oh, okay, well. You know, the story starts to progress. She goes to a, a hotel and uh, we're kind of trying to work out what to do. 
and we're sitting in the car and I'm like, that sounds like Harry Styles. And as I said it, like the guy I work with is like, don't look, there's Harry Styles behind you. And I'm like, we kind of trained now where, you know, like everyone else would swing their neck around. This doesn't happen. So I'm like, okay. So he's walking straight past us. I'm like, shit, that was him. <laughs> so we start, you know, and he, he doesn't like being photographed at all. He hates it. Yeah. But he's relaxed. He has like a drink of uh, alcohol, I don't know, it's whiskey or something. He's in like one of those tumbler glasses. And um, we start taking pictures and he's in a robe. And there's this like couple doing wedding pictures. And he goes and poses with them. We start taking pictures. I was like, wow, that's a nice guy. Like he's just like randomly taking pictures with someone. And we didn't know that that was his manager. We had no idea. So he goes off, gets them to his room. And we knew that um, Olivia was there too. So we start making a few phone calls. And someone's like, yeah, there's a rumor that they're together. I'm like, Bullshit. Sure, 10 minutes later, they come walking down the road. And that's the pictures you see. It's like, holy shit. Wow. That's Just, a, that was a big set. That that photo. Huge. You know what? It was so, it, it, it happened on the 2nd of January. Mm-hmm. So it was the first day we went back to work after the new year. And that happened within like the first, it was in the morning we got the picture. We had the first picture in the morning. And it progressed to the afternoon. Jeez. So, so we're in the then, photos. And then we it- got it again the next day. Like after the wedding, and so the photos itself. Do you, were they holding hands or were they? Yeah, they start that like they start. Well, we could see them through the bushes. So you, like sometimes when you're doing a, a big set of pictures, you see the you see the pictures before you start taking them. Yeah. So we see them walking, and they're kind of like walking through this path. But where where we were parked, we kind of just had to wait for them to come to us. Because if we get spotted, that's it game's up they're gonna go yeah. separate ways and that's it's done and they just kind of walk hold hands just walk straight past us and the guy that i work with was 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 driving and he didn't see any of it so he at this point he had no idea what happened he's just like what's going on what's going on I was like, you're not going to believe this you're not going to believe this <laughs> he's like what and as they leave i just lean forward like a show a picture and he, he was like he just couldn't believe it I was like, did you not watch? And he's like, no, I just kept looking forward. <laughs> I'm like, how did you not turn around and look? That's so great. And so it like, so the photos that we're referring to is like Olivia had on like a, a pink wrap in her hair. She had a flowery dress. He was in a, yeah. like a black suit. They both had yeah. masks on. Did masks make your photos less valuable throughout COVID? No. No? To start with, I would say, yeah. At the beginning and the end, mm-hmm. during no, it just because it was was relevant. It was con- yeah. Everyone had them on, yeah. so it was just a common thing to see. Yeah, and you know, it got difficult. People were like, how do you recognize celebrities when they're wearing a mask? And I'm like, I don't know. It's so, just you just start like it's the eyes. Yeah, and you know when you're watching TV show like I do a lot. I do a lot of research. This stuff is not just. It, stuff just doesn't happen. Like we'll be somewhere, and like either me or my, the, the guy I work with will spot someone, and they'll be walking away, and they'll just be their walk because you've watched their movies or you know listen to their music or whatever they're doing. So who wait? Who's got? The and you most start dis- to like build in your head like a profile of everyone. It's weird. Who has the most distinctive walk in Hollywood? Oh, I've got no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Robert Downey Jr. No, <laughs> it's like I don't want to. I don't want to say her name because it's. It, 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 but like, there's there's one particular celeb that needs a hip replacement, mm-hmm. and obviously hasn't done it. And we could spot this this person walking a mile away because of the way the way they yeah they move. Yeah. All right. I, I feel like Brad Pitt would have like a swagger walk to him. I've never actually seen him walking. I've seen him on his motorcycle. I've seen yeah. him, but I haven't seen him like walking, walking. Yeah. I mean, people like Brad Pitt, I mean, they're not just, they're not just walking around. Unfortunately yeah. for me, it's like a harder, 
once they get to that status, it's uh, you know they have a big security team. With uh, with that, the Harry Styles and Olivia Wilde photo. Did that photo, yeah. did you make over $50,000 total? Not just saying for the first time it was launched. Did you make over 50000 for that? You mean the, the total number? Yeah. Because I had to split it. Like, you know, my business yeah, sure. get, gets one and then the, total. the agency take a cut. But oh, yeah. That's amazing. That is amazing. Yeah, no, it's my, that, that to this day is the biggest like number. Well, that that's international. Like that mm -hmm. i mean everything surrounding that couple it was just huge huge news so i'm not even surprised you've been working also adam levine a lot lately correct yeah how's yeah, how has that been he's been paying some bills <laughs> 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 yeah i mean what a crazy story right mm -hmm. just i find it hard to Obviously, you know, their personal life is, is them, but just like, wow, like, you have everything and you're still kind of going down that route. Mm -hmm. But they seem pretty happy. Yeah. Like, yeah, we've got them, you know, out and about. We've got them on the beach. And these times they didn't know we were there. So it's not like it was a show because some people are like, oh, this is all set up. I was like, you know, I wish my reach was that good to set this stuff up and, and it would be better. Yeah, like, but you're you're saying from your knowledge, like you you've watched Adam and Bahidi, Bahadi, whatever you say her name, basically hanging out on the beach, not knowing any cameras around, and it yeah. genuinely looks like they are doing well and having a good time. It really does. Like, I mean, you know, he's he's always like out of his kids doing stuff like that, and you know, he seems like a really good dad. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a dad, so you can kind of know. I, I know you, uh, you guys got kids, so you can kind of tell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just, I don't know, it's surprising. But they do seem happy. Interesting. Like they do. Like, you know, we got them, we got them getting on a private jet, going somewhere. I don't know where they were going, but. And what, it, what is their body language like with each other? Are they holding hands? Are they. Does it seem like they're affectionate or lovey towards each other? Because if they're hanging out on the beach for a couple hours, I got to imagine you're seeing their... Oh, yeah. They were like laying together. Like she was like, you know, resting her head on him. And I mean, you know, once you've been married a while, you're not like kind of all over each other, are you? You're mm. just not. I'm the same with my wife. It's like, okay, you, we're good. <laughs> we're, just... <laughs> we're good with five feet between us. <laughs> we're good. Like, you know, I want to be... A bit of room you want to be a room we're good but you know if you're on a beach yeah they were cuddling up it was yeah it was good watching their kids like, play on the, on the sand and stuff i think the friends that they were with having having a surf lesson mm -hmm. watching the dolphins you know do you think that Life adam's doesn't get much better than that no for sure do you think adam's team is calling the media trying to be photographed of them kind of getting back to normal life to get that no to stay out no because we'd, we'd we'd get it more but there'd be more pictures yeah you know when that's happening because they go to all the hot spots these guys have got to know hot spots mm -hmm. they're just getting on with family life so that's when you kind of know okay so as a photographer maybe maybe, maybe they're maybe they're maybe they're that's what they do i don't know interesting yeah as a photographer who's been like consistently the highest earner for you is it the kardashians who who is it that you know every time you get a photo, you're like, this is going to make me some dough? Oh, yeah. O always Kim Kardashian, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, regardless. So, All the time. Is it, it, is it the mean, it fashion? Fluctuates. Is it just the curiosity? Like, what do you think people are looking for in your photos? A story. So like, the pitch is like, you could just get a pretty picture and it's going to, you know, it's going to sell. But if the if the picture's telling a story, that's when things change. That's when the dynamic of where the picture gets sold to the you know it's not just online and going to you know newspapers where you know you don't sometimes see that kind of stuff. That's that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to we're trying to create a story just out of pictures. Mm -hmm. How Something that no one knows is the objective. How is uh, how is Britney Spears' husband? Sam, nice guy, cool, just... Yeah, I've done, like, a few, like, 
video things with him before before the wedding really nice always talk to me like you know answer my questions but as soon as it came to like the wedding he was still nice but he wouldn't he wouldn't talk but he he seems nice. I, I, either he's doing like a really good acting job, which I don't think he is. I think he's, he seems to me like a, a nice guy and he seems like he wants the best for her, which is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you, I, had, I can. have you had many interactions with Brittany? Well, yeah, back when she was wearing a pink wig, yeah. Yeah. Because we were, yeah, we were all working at everyone. There was like... Sometimes 20, 30 photographers on that. You get any of story. infamous shots of Britney over the years? I didn't have anything to do with the head shaving one, which is the one that everyone always asks me. The mm-hmm. one that I'm always like, oh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have gone home that day. <laughs> There's hard work in mm-hmm. her back then because normal people have kind of a schedule, you know, they're going to be going like, here, here, and here, and then you know they're asleep in this bulk of time. That was not the case. Yeah, she was all over the place, coming out of her house at one in the morning, crying in the morning, with yeah. dogs. Like that was a wild time. Yeah, driving around, getting lost. But now she just doesn't leave her house. Is that what's going on? Because you would think people would be following her. There's someone kind of no, parked she does outside. Of she place. goes on vacation. She's like constantly yeah, on she vacation. Se- she seems to be in Hawaii a lot, which is where she should probably move to because it just. But obviously she's got kids, so she can't. But when she's here, no, she's just we occasionally like see her driving around. And that's why sometimes you just see pictures of Britney Spears driving a car, because that's all that happens. How how is there not photo so Britney keeps doing all these like personal photo shoots on the beach where she is completely naked or topless, rolling around in the sand. As a photographer, knowing this business, how is there not photos of her doing that yet like i am maybe, shocked maybe maybe there is and just no one wants to touch it that happens hmm. you know you can get pictures and just it's too much yeah and do you want to be associated with that because I, I don't i don't think i don't think we would i still no i still feel like Especially they would like, make their way out even if a lot of the big you know, websites weren't going to post it or the magazine. Somehow people have access to FTPs and servers and all that kind of stuff where a lot of these photographers photos go through and they leak out there. I got to think that those would leak out too. It depends if the agency has tried to, or the photographers tried to sell that stuff. Mm -hmm. But I mean, me personally, I I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like it'd be a bit, there's a line, and I think that's for me. I think that would be kind of how. How have you now? As much as like it would probably make a lot of money. I don't know. I don't, I don't think we'd do it. Yeah. How, how have you navigated this change over the last ten years, where it has become unacceptable to photograph children, celebrities' children? How have you navigated through that yourself? Yeah, I mean, I've always been on that page of like trying not to, mm-hmm. but you know, so, sometimes they're with them and like I've seen, I saw know, you had trying. like some shots of Gal Gadot, and you just blurred out the kid's face. Is that kind of your standard? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we just blur it out completely. Like sometimes. The ones that we do use, if we have to, it won't. The kid will be turned away or mm-hmm. something like that. Because you know, I, I have kids too, so I get it. Yeah. But some celebrities, you know, put their children all over their social media and everything. I'm just like, wow, I just wouldn't do that. So okay, that's a good question. With reality stars that do have their kids on television, like mm-hmm. the Kardashians. Do you take photos of their kids because they put it out or you still try to avoid no, photos of their kids? Still trying to avoid it. I mean, if they're there and they're filming and they're doing something, mm-hmm. I, I think it's it's okay. But like, we would never like single them out ever. Yeah. And 
the less pictures we'd put in with them in our in our set of pictures, the better for me. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference to me. Like I, I would just rather not just not use them pictures. Mm -hmm. That's kind of my 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 take on it. That you know, have you? I get have it, you, you know, they're, they're not they're not celebrities, so yeah, they don't have a choice. Have you, you know, used the, the other celebrities that you know they they put themselves out there? They kind of you know they kind of know that that's going to happen, but no. Have you used uh, like you see a lot of like weddings? You know, when there's a huge wedding yeah. going on, there's a huge ceremony. Obviously, everyone's trying to get the shot. I mean, I think the last big wedding was uh, you know David Beckham's kid was getting married, and a lot of paparazzi were there trying to you know get shots. Have you kind of went the way of getting a helicopter or a plane to get some of those aerial shots? And what do you do? What's the strategy? How does that work? Yeah, I mean, sometimes we use, well, most of the time we use helicopters because you could take the door off. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've never been in a helicopter with a door on, which is kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. If I'm ever at a party, they're like, oh, what do you do for a living? I'm like, oh, I'll, let's see if you can guess. And the one thing I use is, I've never been in a helicopter with a door on, and that's it. Like, they just go completely different way. But yeah, helicopters have used the plane. We used the plane for uh, uh, Ben and Jen's wedding mm -hmm. recently because there was no helicopters. So that was an experience because... So are you just literally flying back and forth over their wedding? Kind of like a round in a circle because... Yeah, so it was way different. <laughs> and like the, you know, you can't take the door off. So you have a small window that opens. It's like, a, yeah, and you got like a lot of pressure to try and, you know, get them pictures and to get it good. Okay, so when you're up there and hard. you guys are flying around, were you guys yeah. the only plane up there or was there numerous planes? Because yeah. a lot of people no. knew that wedding was going we, on. We were the only ones. Wow. I mean, there was a, there was a lot of other outlets there. Mm-hmm. But it was just uh, difficult, like in Savannah, because there just wasn't. It's not like LA. Like LA, you can just, you know, everyone's got their people. You call up here. I need the helicopter today. And they're like, yeah, cool, no problem. And they might have like four or five of them, and everyone will have one. Mm -hmm. And then we're all flying around, trying not to be sick out the door for hours. <laughs> and do they know what you're doing at that point? They know you're shooting the wedding. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, you do kind of feel this bad. wasn't either one of their first rodeos. I think both no. of their previous <laughs> weddings then, were is the same thing. You're you're crazy famous. It's what happens, especially if you have an outdoor ceremony. I got to imagine you're going to be like, well, we're going to have a helicopter buzz over our ceremony or a plane buzz over our ceremony the whole time. But that's kind of what comes with the territory, unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately, I mean, yeah, you can kind of suck low. You know, we try and stay as far back as we can. So we're not like completely ruining their big mm -hmm. day. But I think they liked the pictures. Because they were doing like a Vanity Fair thing. And they, I think they sold the rights to that for quite a lot of money. So everyone else got to see the wedding, which... There's so much interest around that couple. Yeah. Well, there was the first time and the it's second different. time. Have you had any run-ins yes. with Justin Bieber over the years? No, like we see, I don't really work that story, but yeah, he's. We see him out, out and about every now and again. Is he someone that does or does not like photos? I think it depends on 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 the day on him. Mm -hmm. I think he gets it, but I think he's also maybe over it because it must be hard, you know, being that famous as a, as a child coming up and, you know, but you do have the opportunity to not live in LA mm -hmm. and go to Beverly Hills every day. Or he could move back to Canada if he really wanted to. And I mean, didn't they? Didn't Whenever they he goes to Canada, like no one see, no one, you know, it's expensive to go. I don't think there's any local guys that work up there. I would say during COVID, I feel like they had moved up there for a while and lived on that like ranch. And I got to imagine that's probably nice and freeing for him. No one is bothering him whatsoever. Yeah, but like, I think these people start to miss it. 
Yeah. I think it's like a double-edged sword where you can get too much. But when you go away for a while, it can, uh, you can miss it. Yeah, it's famous. It's just like us when we, you know, when we go on vacation or whatever, like itching to get back. Same thing, I think. Yeah. But just on a massive scale with them. I hear you. Well, what? yeah. Go ahead, Adam. No, I was going to say, we do a little bit of a speed round, you know, where we just try to see yeah. what's the first thing that comes to your mind. And I don't want you to overthink oh, it. I just want to see what kind of, again, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? So we're going to ask you a few things and uh, tell us what you think. Are you ready for this, Clint? Uh, probably not, but go on, let's go for it. All right, here we go. Um, <laughs> the funniest person, the funniest celebrity. Ooh. That, uh... I was gonna say Jamie Foxx because we just spoke about that. Okay, Jamie. So you going with that? Yeah. All right. What about yeah. the one person that you'd want to hang with? Uh, I think it'd be Brad Pitt. Okay. I have his coffee machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. It's stupid. Yeah. Like, you know, the, the Christmas last year when he did that. Did you watch that commercial? Yeah. Yeah. Whereas I, I was watching it with my wife and he's like on his bike going down Malibu and he goes and picks up some coffee beans and comes back and he's just like looking out his window. I was like, fuck. I'd love to be Brad Pitt. Like, I say, like he's got the best life. Look at that is. <laughs> She's like, do you even know what that was about? And I was like, I've got no idea. So he was a coffee machine. I was like, what? We have it. It's sitting here. I, it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get that. And it's the best thing I've... That was the best purchase of last year. Um, That's awesome. Who's the one celebrity that acts like they don't like the attention or being photographed, but they actually do? Oh, I think it's Justin Bieber for sure. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, you, sorry. I just thought of someone I wanted to ask you about. James yeah. Corden is getting a really bad rap right now. What has been your interactions is he a cool guy is he a douchebag what has been your interactions with him in the streets i think he's a little douchey but what what makes him douchey like is he is he a dick is he nice i don't think he's dick i think he's trying like when he moved to america right all the brits that lived here probably agree with me i'm like who who is this guy like why is he talking like this like what Mm -hmm. what like stop kissing their asses just ask the question and stop trying to be everyone's friend. Yeah. Kind of, oh, I, I didn't watch it. I watched the first one. I was like, I see, I'm done. Because he did like a pretty big show back in England. It was great. So I was like, oh, this is going to be good. And then it's just, I don't know. Yeah. But a lot of, a lot of people do like, not like James, <laughs> James Corden anymore. <laughs> I love him. I think it's funny. Yeah. Look at Ricky Gervais. Yeah. What did he, what did he say? It was like when he called him the big pussy or whatever. People, people love to hate on him too. I don't know. Ricky Gervais? No, no, no. I was talking about James. Oh, James. Yeah. I remember, you know, I'm, it's tough. Like, can you be nice to everyone all the time? No. no. Are you always nice when you go everywhere? No. I think it's more. Can when you imagine if someone was following us three around all day? I'd be canceled like every day, probably. Because, <laughs> you know, sometimes it's just like, oh, not that I'm rude to people, but, you know, just. It's hard. You got. I do think that there is something to be said about. There has been a couple stories about him being a bit of an a hole, and I think mm. it's more shocking because, like, when I watch him on TV, I think he's funny. He seems really awesome, but yeah. I also thought thought the same thing about Ellen. You know, and I think that there's. Yeah, I think she got a bad rap as well. You know, because she kind of she is nice. Yeah, you think she Ellen's nice, nice to me. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't necessarily think she 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 likes it when I ask her these stupid mm-hmm. questions that yeah arise. But she's always, I'd say she's kind of pleasant. She she never ignores me. She always ask, like answers the question, even when it's something that I don't want to ask. Mm-hmm. You know, and you're kind of like, oh, I don't want to do this. Yeah. Okay. Right. I want to get back to sorry. I want to get back to the speed round. I yeah. just thought I, I, I didn't want to forget about asking about James Corden. Who is the prettiest in person? Ooh, Jordana Brewster. Yeah. Okay, Jordana That's Brewster. The first, we've heard her name come up. Okay. Yeah. 
because she's just like natural, I think. Okay. What was your biggest shot ever and what did you make on it? Well, we know it's the Harry and Olivia set. And I'm not going to tell you how much I made on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, enough to be like a yearly salary. What state? What state are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, not not in California, but anywhere else, yes. Maybe California too. <laughs> oh, it, it was yeah. I like okay, that's interesting. Good for you. Yeah. But again, wasn't wasn't only it wasn't only me. It was you and your right. partner, yeah. and then you got split with the agency, yeah. so it's a like, lot. Oh, you know, I'm the best photographer in the world. Like, no, you're not. You're only as good as your last picture. Mm -hmm. All right, sure. who is the best? And not everything comes to you, you know, it's all help. Yeah. Help is needed. Who sure. is the best looking male celebrity in person? Uh, I don't know. It's a weird question. Uh, Brody Jenner. Okay. He's a pretty handsome guy. He's a handsome guy. He's tall. Yeah. He's got, you know, he still looks healthy. He just looks healthy. Oh, he is healthy. Yeah. He, that guy lives a, like a, a Malibu life. Yeah, he's the ultimate Malibu. He's the Malibu prince, you know? So he's... Uh, yeah, prince of Malibu. Yeah, he's a, he, <laughs> he's a, he's a good-looking dude. Uh, who would you say... Everyone would probably want to say George Clooney. <laughs> I mean, he's a pretty handsome guy too, right? Yeah, but like Brad, you know, Brody Jenner is like almost forty now. He's got no gray yet. Like he's just he still yeah. looks like he did ten years ago. Yeah, you know, um, who would you say is the nicest celebrity? Oh, well, again, the Kardashians are all nice, so I'd, I'd have to put them as like a group. Okay, because they're all they're, yeah, all of them. Who is the? Who's the most Pleasant. playful? I think I think Shaq's pretty playful. He's a I photographed him a few times. He's always larking around, trying to hide from people. He's a nice guy too. He's great. Yeah. Um, yeah, he really is. He's he's a really good person. Just stand back a bit just to photograph him. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I, you know, I'm six foot, so I'm still like. Further away, the better. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you say is the meanest to their fans? The one like their fans is just it just doesn't work out. They're just disappointed. They, their fans walk away disappointed. I don't know that 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 kind of. I think it changes. I can't think of anyone for that. I'm like a positive person, so when he gets like that, I'm just like just just dis discard the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Who is the one person that makes your job difficult? Like they they duck, they wear clothes, maybe that that make it impossible to shoot. Harry and Meghan are pretty difficult. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. They 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 know how to stay out of the spotlight i feel i feel like there are a couple that can kind of come and go and not get photographed doing stuff yeah they they, they try their hardest yeah they got pretty good at it has what, a celebrity what, what, what's a trick that megan and harry use so they don't get photographed private everything what does that mean though explain like private jets which they do not want to get photographed getting on because of the let's save the planet. Mm -hmm. so they, they try it. So private jet, but okay, you know? but it's still there. I feel oh. like there's abilities to get onto the private jet or photograph getting onto a private jet, right? No, not anymore. Not if you, not if you park your jet in a hangar oh, and, and shut the door and then get in, open the door, and leave. Okay, what else are yeah, they like? That's Pretty good trick, I think. Are they going in <laughs> back doors of different restaurants? Are they not even going to restaurants? We don't see them that much, but yeah, they're 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 pretty low key, like in person. You got photos of them like at a restaurant though recently, right? Yeah, yeah, with uh, Eugenie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So how did those yeah. photos come about then? We had it, we had information that they were going to this restaurant. 
was like, oh, is this, this is not going to happen. Mm-hmm. And it did. <laughs> and yeah, like the, where they, where they sat was overlooking the beach in the dark. Mm-hmm. So we just shot them pictures from the beach. It's awesome. And how is their security yeah. detail? Do they roll deep or what do they have? Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're pretty big. I mean, when it was, when it was like the, the Royal police, it was massive. Mm-hmm. It was like, you know, one of the, when you see the convoy of the dignitaries here, it was like, that it was pretty big, yeah. big team. We, we went and worked it in Canada when they were up in Canada and they still had their Royal protection then. Yeah. And it was a big team. And so now like over, over, over tw- maybe like 15 plus. Wow. That is a big team. Yeah. That's presidential yeah. style. Damn. Yeah. That's what Royal protection is. It's the same thing almost without, you know, the, the beast. It's probably the only thing that's missing. Seems overkill for them, but okay. Not when you're a royal. Hmm. So do you feel yeah. like, because you know they've complained about that, they feel like they're not yeah. as safe without the royal protection. Do you, can you understand where they're coming from on that? 100%. Yeah, I get it. Hmm. Crazy. But I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't, maybe they didn't think that was going to happen, but I still think they should, they should have the royal protection. Just because, you know, and you were born into it. It's not, you didn't have a choice. Yeah. All right, I got so. one last question. Adam, you go first, though, yeah. and then I'll get to mine. Um, has a celeb ever paid you not to shoot them? Like, hey, here's some cash. Thank you so much. And 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 if so, who was the person? Ah, oh, well, not going to answer that. <laughs> but someone did? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Because we, we've seen it before. You wouldn't be the first photographer to say that, oh, uh, yeah, I've had people literally pay me off or pay for my I'll tell you what happens right more. Then. What happens more is, like, you can negotiate. I'm like, oh, you know, I didn't look good in that. And like, okay, well, let's do something else. And we'll do different pictures. We'll just delete them once. Interesting. And that's just a, they just have to trust us when that happens. Yeah. And no, you want to do right. I, I don't think, do you know, you're, you want to do right by them because it is a relationship. So I think going, for, you know, what people should know, the audience should know, it's like, you know, you're not there to burn them. You know, it's like, hey, listen, and then no, no, let, no, no. let me get them. The, and I see that in your photos because the photos, your photos, again, you're not there trying to make them look bad. You're not there trying to be the yeah, bad sometimes guy. Sometimes, like, if we get a bad picture, we would just take it out. Because I know what's going to happen. Because they're just going to concentrate on that one thing. And that's not, you know, some people just need a break, right? Yeah. Just do some nice pictures. Make it nice. Make it positive. Uh-huh. I'd much rather do a positive story than a negative one. Even though the negative ones usually make more money. Yeah. All right. So, Clint, tell me, what is the wildest thing you've seen on the street that is non-celebrity related? We've seen any fights. We've seen any crazy shit that we need to know about. To do with, to do with this industry, yeah. I, I mean, people used to, you know, hash it out mm-hmm. before. Not so much now. Well, not at all now. But back like when, I suppose people called it, it was like the gold rush, which I'm not sure if that was true or not. But yeah, there was rivalries with like groups of photographers that would work as a team and you, you know, you'd want to get the bad pictures and there would be some crazy stuff going on. Yeah. But that doesn't happen anymore. I think everyone's grown up. <laughs> awesome. Well, Clint, <laughs> thank you so much. I know we've been trying to get you on the books for quite some time and I appreciate you stopping by the podcast and just hearing because really you are one of probably the most successful photographers out there working today. I I see your name everywhere, all over the blogs, the websites, the magazines. I mean, you, you just really get some amazing photography and you've got some of the best house porn, I think out of anyone, (laughs) beautiful photos of people's homes and buildings that are uh, even like the playboy mansion, you know, it's just like, cool stuff throughout so many years and 
So keep doing what you're doing. Thank you for joining us. If anyone wants to follow Clint on social media, Clint Brewer Photography is his handle. You'll love it. Yeah. Uh, I, knowing our audience, you'll love to follow him. So I highly recommend it. And if you if you see any good celebrities or have any good information, DM him. DM me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Please. Thank you again so much, buddy. We really, really do appreciate having you on. That was fun. I love hearing about the Harry Styles and a and Olivia Wilde story. You know, just hearing the mm-hmm. backstory because I remember seeing his name attached to those photos. I'm like, I want to hear exactly what went down. And then to hear, I, I loved. My favorite part was that there were rumors that she was with a woman. Like that made me laugh that he was going there to photograph her with a woman and found out that it was Harry Styles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all those bell bottoms he's been wearing. But that's like the luck of the job. It's like sometimes things fall in your lap, and it's like when stuff happens like that, it feel like it feels like an outer body experience because. It helps you out so much because the, the the financials of the industry change. Here's the thing that people should realize. Once you get a photo of someone, it doesn't make money unless it's sold. So like it's so, there's got to be a buyer. But when you get something like that, you're like in your in your head, you know, oh, jackpot, I'm about to make some money. And that's happened with me with a few times. You know, you don't it doesn't happen with that all the time, but sometimes you get something like, Okay, I'm about to get paid and it's very, very handsomely you get yeah. paid. I love it's it. It's a great day. Good stories. I hope uh, I hope our audience loves it. I mean, listen, the these episodes with photographers, paparazzi, people eat up because it's no one else is covering these people on, you know, out there and getting them and realizing that these, you know, humanizing the paparazzi world, I think is another way to say it because these people have interesting fucking lives. Really really interesting jobs and careers and a lot of them, the stars depend on them is really what it comes down to because they're keeping them relevant in between their next movie and you don't want Hollywood to forget about you in between your movies. So, yeah, uh, uh, thank, thank you guys for you joining guys for us. Listening. Make sure you are following us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. You know, we've got this private Facebook group. If you go and find Hollywood Raw, there is a private Facebook group called Off the Record. That's where we answer your guys' direct questions. We see you guys in there commenting we're interacting with you so if you are not a part of our private facebook group definitely join we're having a lot of fun in there adam what was the craziest thing you saw in there this week uh i mean it's there's a lot i mean i just love when people just ask like random questions like tell me i want to hear some stuff about mary kate olsen and the olsen twins i don't know it's just it's great it's just really fun to see you guys interact with each other more than even just us because it helps us out think of like what kind of content you guys want to see or hear. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, So if you want to follow Adam, follow Adam at Adam Glenn. You can follow me at Dax Holt. And please take a minute, go on over. If you have not left us a review on iTunes, find the Hollywood Raw iTunes page, scroll down to the bottom, leave us a five-star review, give us a comment, and leave your name and where you're from so we can read it out at the top of the show. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. What's up, guys? If you liked that video, there's plenty more that came from. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell so we can just feed you all the goodness daily. Hurry up. Come on. Let's go.